We are at Apollo Bay, probably one of the most beautiful spots on the west coast of Victoria. The boat we're going out on today is a Stabby Craft 2050 Super Cab. Its fishing ergonomics are off the scale. It's got a great dash with easy access to all your gauges and electronics. Behind the helm, it's like sitting in a control tower. The layout really is superb. This thing's been modified from the keel up, creating an even more agile beast on the water. I've been to the shelf in over half a dozen stabbies and I can confidently say these boats are seriously safe. Another handy feature of this boat is the easy access cabin. It can hold a lot of gear and when you're doing filming and fishing like we are, easy access is essential. Now it's got a great big hard top which even protects the guys at the back from getting wet. A lot of other boats won't do that. Down aft you've got a great little workstation with a bait board, live bait tank, two rod holders and even two drink holders. Now this 2050 is fitted with a Suzuki 150 horsepower four stroke. I think I've got to say, may be developing a love affair with this engine. It's super torquey down low and it's great for when you're on and off the throttle in a really sharp, small set seat. Now the gunnels on this boat are pretty spectacular. They're huge. We found them really handy for loading and unloading gear off the boat, as well as standing on when we're looking for birds. Now, the kick down seating along the transom, that is typical Stabby craft. It's such a simple little thing, but they're so practical for either sitting or just getting in and out of the boat. I could easily picture myself owning this boat. If you're like me, and you do a lot of different styles of fishing, it's really versatile. I can picture five guys standing at the back snapper fishing or game fishing, or just two guys standing on top of the combing, flicking soft plastics around for brim. Stabby craft 2050 Super Gab, it's a seriously clever boat.